fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and hardy high old silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of a great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Go on, Silver. Let's go, big fellow. I'm Silver. Hey! Abner Watrous sat on the porch of his small ranch house, looking wistfully at a heavy stagecoach that stood beneath a nearby tree. His watery eyes turned toward a pasture where several horses grazed. Old. Oh, all of us grown old. Old and stove in. Were you speaking to me, Abner? Hmm? Oh, no. No, Martha. I was just thinking, that's all. Things around here haven't been the same since the boys left. Nonsense. Nothing's changed. Yes, it has, Martha. When Bill and Herb was here, we had them to take care of. Now they got a ranch all their own. They don't need us no more. No one needs us. No one but my old horses. Now, Abner, don't take on so. Well, even the horses won't need us much longer. Bill and Herb have asked us to come and live with them. If you want to go... No, I, I don't. This is my home, and I want to stay here. I wish we could raise cash enough. Abner Watrous, cash enough for what? Well, I... Oh, never mind, Martha. You've been talking to the men who took over the stage line, haven't you now? Well, I... Uh, I knew it. That's why you've been moping ever since you got back from town. Mm. You've been trying to get back in harness. Oh, it's this sitting around. Nothing to do... Gets under my skin. Oh, honey, you've done your work. You've earned enough to buy a little ranch and keep us for the rest of our days. Mm, nothing to do but sit and wait. Just the same as the horses over there doing, waiting to die. Doggone it, Martha, if I had cash enough, I'd buy an interest in that new stage line. Oh, if that's not just like a man. A year ago, you were sky hooting because you'd sold out to the new stage line and you wouldn't have to work anymore. I know. Now you want to buy an interest so you can go back to work. Well, I, for one, am mighty glad we used the cash to pay off what we owed on this piece of land and help the boys get started on their own ranch. Mm. Nothing left but six old stolen horses and... And that stagecoach, look at her over there, Martha. Sturdy as she ever was. Shiny. Mm, should be. You spend half your time puttering around it. I can't help thinking when I look at her how proud I was when those horses was young and spry, raring to go. I'd sit there calm and straight, 
make a big thing of pulling on my gloves, while all the town folk gathered around admiring and envying me. Oh, I remember. I used to watch you. <laughs> then I'd take the reins in one hand, take the whip in the other, just like this I'd hold it. Then I'd crack the whip and I'd shout, Get up there! Get along there, Blackie! Come on, Dusty, get along! Take a lie, Abner. Look at your horses over huh? there. Why, they remember, Martha. Look at them standing there with their ears cocked. They heard me. Look at old Blackie standing, eyeing me. Yes, them was the days. Doggone, I wish I could raise the cash. I'd buy into this new outfit and show these young whippersnappers how to run a stage line. Well, you may as well forget it, Edna. You haven't got the cash, and if you did have, I wouldn't hear you if you're trying to drive a stage again. Martha, I hear a horseman coming this way. Oh, they must be on the other side of the house. Sir. Oh, there they come. Snakes are alive, Martha. Look at that white horse. Look at that stride. Did you ever see such a critter? That Payne's a good horse, too. Edna, that man on that white horse is masked. What? Masked? Sure enough. Maybe he's an outlaw. Maybe they're coming to rob us. Oh, dear, I don't know. Oh, oh, I don't know though they've come to make trouble. Hi there. What does that mask mean, stranger? Uh, what do you want here? Nothing but water. We like to water our horses and fill our canteens. I think... Oh, it... What is it, mister? Why are you looking at me that way? Aren't you Abner Watrous? Yeah, what if I am? You are, and that's your stagecoach. I remember when you used to drive the San Pedro Trail. You, you do? I, I certainly do. The record you made over that trail has never been matched. What? You hear that, Martha? You hear what he said? Yes, I heard him. If water is all you want, mister, the trough is right over yonder. You're more than welcome. Oh, thanks. Thanks a lot. Hello, take care of it, will you? Uh, this way, Silver. Get him up. You know, perhaps you can help me. Wow. If it's cash, mister... No, not cash. The express office has been robbed. You mean the express office in Woodstock? Yes. That's my old office. Yes, I know. What is stolen? Did the crooks get away with much? Well, quite a bit of gold was in the office. They got away with all of it. Doggone. You hear that, Martha? Such things never happened when I was running the stage line. There were eight men. Eight of them, eh? Yes, Lefty Jordan's gang. Lefty Jordan. Martha, you hear that? I'm not dead. Uh, that critter's been dodging the law for as long as I can remember. That's why there's such a big reward for his capture. And additional rewards for every member of his gang. Uh, you know them on sight? He's doggone right, I do. Well, he may come this way. Oh, my sakes. Abner, if he comes past here, why, he might make no end of trouble for us. Hold on, mister. If he was coming this way... He'd have been here by now, wouldn't he? Not necessarily. He'd be ahead of you. He might find some place near Woodstock and hide until he sees a good chance to escape. Uh, did he start out this way? No, Abner. He left town by the North Trail. All the lawmen went in that direction to look for him. If he's smart, he'll lie low for a while and circle back this way and escape over the South Trail when no one is looking for him. Well, he'd have to cross the San Pedro Bridge to get anywhere. It'd be miles to go around the canyon. That's right. Doggone, I'd better get my rifle loaded. If eight gunslingers are heading this way with stolen gold, I'm going to do my doggone to stop them. Horse is all ready now, Kimasabi. I'm keen still. All right, thanks, Toto. Oh, see here, mister. If you're looking for the Jordan gang, you must be on the side of the law. I am. Then why do you wear a mask? Uh, this may explain it, Abner. What's that? It's a bullet. I hope we'll meet again. Adios. Ready, Tonto? Yeah. You ready? Hey, this bullet's made of silver. Oh, silver! Come up, Tonto! Martha. Martha, take a good look at that man that's riding away. Take a good look at him. He's the Lone Ranger. <laughs> Ranger and Tonto crisscrossed the area between the town of Woodstock and the San Pedro Canyon, while lawmen hunted north of town for the Jordan gang. The masked man had reasoned accurately. The outlaws had circled to the south, 
but had exercised extreme caution to keep to hard ground where the tracks of their horses wouldn't show. At one point, they rode for several miles in a shallow stream. Finally, Jordan signaled a halt. Should have done a good job of hiding our tracks, Lefty. Yeah, we had to. <laughs> I bet we left every lawman hunting for us on the other side of town. We probably did, but we sure wore our horses out doing it. We need fresh horses. Yeah, I know where we can get a Lefty. Where? Hey, look over there. If my eyes are wrong, there's some right smart-looking critters in that corral. Yeah, I see them. Don't look like there's anyone around. Who owns that outfit? Any of you know? I know who lives there. I remember hearing about that outfit. Yeah, who is it, Jake? There's two brothers there. They bought the place about a year ago to raise horses. They're the sons of old man Watrous. Watrous, Watrous. Yeah, Abner Watrous. He used to run the stage line before he sold oh, out. Oh, yeah. Bill and Herb. That's the name of the boys. Bill and Herb Watrous. Well, yeah, they're breeding horses. They got what we want. Well, then what are we waiting for? I see something I want. I got a habit of getting it. We help ourselves to horses and cross the San Pedro Bridge. We be in the clear. What about the critters we got now? Are we going to take them along with us? We'll take horses along with us, but not these. We take fresh horses, extra ones, and we can keep going as long as we want. Yeah. We can always sell a few extra horses if they're good ones. What do we do? Charge up there and help ourselves? Now, hold on, Jake. That's a way to invite lead poisoning. Well, I... We ride up we... to the house without flashing any hardware or showing any signs of making trouble. There's only one thing wrong, Lefty. The way your picture's been spread around on handbills, the chances are two to one that you'll be recognized. Maybe so. That'll be time enough to start getting rough. Come on. Get up there. Come on. Get up. Come on, Herb. Food spread out on the table. Sit down and start eating. Oh, just a minute, Bill. Look out this window. Huh? What are you looking at? There's some men coming this way. Eight of them. Why, sure enough. Maybe they're coming to buy horses. Yeah, they could use them. The horses they're riding are just about stove in. <laughs> I reckon we can postpone eating for a while if we can sell eight or nine horses, huh? Hey, Bill. Take a look at that one man, the big critter. Something familiar about him. You ever seen him before? I don't know where I've seen him, but as you say, he looks familiar. I can't remember. He's coming where... up to the door. We'll ask him why we've seen him. Yeah. I'll open the door. If it's horses you want, Mr. Hey, Bill, I remember. We want horses, all right. Bill, it's Lefty George. Jordan. Great Scotch your right, Herb. Don't get tough, you two. Put those guns down. Gotta you can't. Get in the house there, son. We've got to talk business. Go on, get in there. Why, shut you... up. No. Well, if you think you can get away with it. Oh. Now watch yourself. Herb. Herb. It's just my arm. That shot will hurt more. If you boys get rough with me, my friends are awful fast on the trigger. Rope these two. Well, we help ourselves to the horses and get away from here. Why don't we drill the two of them and let it go at that, Lefty? I said rope them. Got no hankering to have a noose around my neck if I'm ever caught. And that's what'll happen if we leave dead men lying around behind us. You won't get away with this, Jordan. We'll see about that. Come on, hurry up, Pete. You and Jake get those two hog tied while the rest of the boys are switching saddles to fresh horses. Take your horses, boys, and saddle up. Put my gear on that big black. Hey, give me your hands. And if I make these ropes too tight, don't let out a squeak. Because your doggone lucky lefty Jordan don't believe in making you two permanently quiet. Now, you take care of that one, Jake. Yeah, come on. Oh, if you have any trouble with them, right, right. slap them on the head with your gun barrel. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. The Jordan gang wasted no time on the horse ranch. They selected the best horses from the corral and hurried away, leaving Herb and Bill tightly bound on the floor of the house. Meanwhile, the Lone Ranger and Tonto continued their search for some sign of the thieves. It seemed like a hopeless case. Then the masked man suddenly held up one hand. Hello, right up, horse. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, they're hoof marks. Yes, a lot of them. They came out of that stream over there. That's right. At least half a dozen horses passed this way. There were eight men in Jordan gang. The tracks go over there toward that ranch. Let me see him. Come on, Toto. Get him up, Scott. Come on, Silver. It took but a few minutes for the masked man and his Indian companion to reach the corral. There they saw the tired horses they had followed. Who's on the He's on The tracks go away from here. Said a big fella, easy. <laughs> Heading south. And right. Hey, whoever you are, come in here. That come from house. Come on, Toto. Hurry up. Now, Herb, I'll look. Get rock bottom. Another outlaw. Oh, you're wrong about that. Take care of that one, Toto. I'll... You're Bill Watrous. How do you know? You must be Herb. That's right. You'll have those ropes cut away in just a second. But who are you? How do you know us? I know your father. Who tied you? Lefty Jordan's gang. There you are. Yeah, thanks. They stole our horse. They're heading for the San Pedro Bridge. That's what we wanted to know. There's eight of them, and they're on. Oh, you've been wounded. Oh, never mind that. It's just a scratch. Get after those crooks. That's the ticket. If you're not an outlaw, go and get them. We'll go with you. Oh, what are you going to ride? Ride? Well, horses. I, I hadn't thought of that. Herb, they took our horses, the ones they left to worn out. You can travel on them, but not very fast. If those crooks are riding our horse flesh, we'd never catch them. I don't suppose you and your Indian friend have a chance, even if you did catch them. Two against eight? Yeah. Those odds are too long. But... Yeah. I guess there's nothing for us to do, Herb, but take the loss and like it. There might be a way to even the odds. What do you mean? I have an idea. Toto, you stay with Bill and Herb. Ride with them. Follow the trail of the Jordan gang, even though you do have to go slowly. Oh, gang got good start. Yes, they have a good start. But I think you'll find they'll continue on a roundabout route to avoid being seen by anyone. What are you going to do? No time to explain now. You three get on the trail and follow it. And where you go? I'm going back to Abner's ranch. I think I know how we can block those crooks. Does he mean Dad's place? That's right. What for? Old Dad can't help none. Oh, sir. Abner Watrous was still seated on the porch of his small ranch house, his recently loaded rifle resting across his knees. The old man stood well, up when he heard the distant uh, thunder of hoofs. Well, hanged if it ain't a horseman coming again. Well, I just hope it's Lefty Jordan. I'd like to get a shot at that ornery. Jump in, Juniper. It's the masked man coming back. Martha! Martha, look there! It's the live Abner. What's the matter? Look at there, Martha. It's the masked man coming back here. Why, you're right. He is coming back. Riding like the wind. I don't see anyone chasing him, do you? <laughs> if there was, he wouldn't be running away from him. No mistake about it. He's got something on his mind. Oh, sir. Oh, boy. Easy. Sit me, fellow. What's up, mister? Abner, answer my questions and be quick. What's the trouble? How long does it take to get from here to the San Pedro Bridge? On a horse? No, with a stagecoach. Oh, about half an hour. If there are four or six good horses... Take six if they're pulling a load. How long from your son's ranch to the bridge? Well, that's a lot longer, but... Uh, uh, how long? Well, three times as long, maybe four. Then there is a chance. Chance of what? What in tarnation are you so mysterious about? Can that old stage of yours be moved? Well, it's sure been moved. Good. Bring out your horses and hitch them up. Them old horses? Yes. Doggone it, mister, them critters is old, wore out. One of them is blind. Bring them out. They've got to help pull this stage. But for what? Where to? Now, look here, mister. I don't know what you're planning to do, but those old horses haven't pulled a stage in two years. They couldn't do it now. Horses are a lot like people, Mrs. Watrous. They'll do what's expected of them if they're made to understand how important it is. Mm, I don't know, mister. 
Them horses couldn't be beat in their day. Abner, that... you're too old to drive. Yes, I know. What? Who is? Aren't you? Like fun I am. And any blame fool that says I am... Sure will... he's too old to drive. I can handle reins as good as any man. Darn sight better than these young whippersnappers. Then try... don't say your horses are too old. They might like to be back in harness just as much as you would. If you just stop asking questions long enough to tell me what for. To smash the lefty Jordan gang. What? Yes, that's right. I just come from your son's ranch. The Jordan gang stopped there and they... <gasps> the boys, are they... Bill and Herb are all right, Mrs. Watchers. Are you sure? Oh, mister, if they hurt our boys... Lefty Jordan and his men tied them up, then stole their horses. Why, then no good thieving critters? Those crooks are on their way now to the San Pedro Bridge. The triple-twisted horse-thieving sidewinders. Leave our boys tied up, will they? Make off with the best horse flesh in this part of the country, eh? Get extra ammunition for that rifle and get those horses hitched. We're going to trap those outlaws. Great land of milk and honey. Why didn't you tell me all this in the first place? I wouldn't be wasting time standing here jawing if I'd have known. Martha, get the extra ammunition. But and Edmund. save your arguments. I'll get the horses hitched just as fast as I can. You wait right there, mister. You uh, sure the boys are all right? Yes, their greatest concern is to get their horses back, Mrs. Watrous. You, you won't let anything happen to Abner, will you? I won't. I'll fish that ammunition right away. <laughs> We'll be at the bridge, Lefty. That's right, Jake. And we won't have a thing to worry about. The law don't have guards at the bridge. <laughs> ah, that bridge is clear. The law won't figure we're anywhere but on the north side of town. By the time you get wise, it'll be too late for him to do anything about it. It's a mighty slick scheme, Lefty. What if we do meet the law, boss? And we shoot it out. There's nothing going to stop us once we reach that bridge. Get up there. Come on. Get up there. them horses. They're sure stepping spry and looking lively. By thunder, Blackie has fired his eye just like he used to have. Steady there, Blackie. This is set to go in a jiffy. Here, I'll give you a hand. I'm going with you. But, Martha. There's no use arguing, Abner. But see here, it's not safe. The extra ammunition's up on the seat, Abner. All right inside. Oh, my sakes alive. What a woman to try to reason with. Martha, you... Save your breath for driving, Abner Walters. Well, get in then. Get in. Can't take time to argue. I know. Steady, Blackie. Uh, hurry up, Abner. Silver and I will travel alongside your lead horses to set the pace, Abner. Go we'll right ahead and set the pace. These horses seem to have lost all their old age. We'll stick with you. Good, steady, easy, big fella. Be ready in just a second. Come on, boy. Now I've got to pull my gloves on. Never mind your gloves. You ain't appearing before the folks in town now. Huh? Get a move on, Abner. Well, now I'm ready. Look at them old horses, Martha, clattering and pawing the ground, anxious to get started and on the run. Ready, Abner? All set. Good. Come on, Silver. Get up there. Get up there, Blackie, Nero, Dusty. Ah! Great tuners just like it used to be. Look at them travel. They ain't old no more. They're young. They're back in harness again. Yes, sir. Get up. Get along there. Come on, Silver. Old Abner Watrous felt the thrill of another day return to him as he sat once again on the high, jouncing seat of the aged stagecoach. His eyes flashed with excitement. Get along there! Abner's horses strained to maintain a position alongside the Lone Ranger and his powerful white stallion. Come, Silver! Mile after mile rolled beneath the rumbling wheels and thundering hoofs. And then the San Pedro Bridge was in sight. It was a narrow bridge, barely wide enough to carry the stagecoach. Off to the left, the Lone Ranger saw eight horsemen. Abner, look! Horsemen! I see them! It's the Jordan gang. We're ahead of them. Run your stage on the bridge, then join me. Who's over? Who? Back up! While Abner ran the stage on the bridge, the Lone Ranger reined up his great white stallion behind a huge pile of rocks near the entrance to the bridge. Come over here behind these rocks. Bring your wife with you. The boulders made a fortress that no bullet could penetrate. In a moment, Abner and Martha had left the stage and joined the masked man. Oh, my goodness. 
Tell them for the horse is traveled. Keep behind these rocks and you'll be safe enough. Now, Martha, do you see the masked man's plan? The stage has the bridge shut right off so those crooks can't get across. They can't cross without moving the stage. Before they can move the stage, they've got to get past us. I see. Wait, there they come. I don't show any more of yourself than you have to. I nice, have him. Hey, get that stage out of the way. Not on your tin time. You're covered, Jordan. The law wants you. Law? Why are you... Open up, little boy. You want gunplay? Remember that you're the ones that are out in the open. You surrender or get shot down. You better make up your minds. Make up our minds, huh? Lefty, we're cut off. Those rocks make a barricade for the critters behind you. Boys, we better backtrack. Turn your horses. You better surrender. You don't want to be dropped in your tracks. Your back trail is cut off. But Lefty, he's right. Look over there. More riders coming. Boys, there's just one chance. Rush them from both sides and open fire. Don't try it, Lefty. Let him come. We'll cut him down. Cut my arm. Lefty, we can't go no closer. They can cut us down like flies. Throw down your guns and get your hands up. I had enough. I surrender. Me too. If you want to fight him, Lefty, you go ahead. I'm quitting. All right, we give up. While the Lone Ranger and Abner covered the gang, Abner's sons, Bill and Herb, accompanied by Tonto, rode up and dismounted. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I'm glad you got here, boys. You're just in time to see a passel of cutthroat horse thieves hogtied for the law. Josh, Ted, that's your old stagecoach. Yeah, it sure is. And your old horses. Yeah. And, boys, it's your old man that drove them. Well, you're just in time to help with the roping. Well, they're your prisoners, Abner. When you turn this gang over to the law, you'll have reward enough to do almost anything you want. Not on your life. You're the one that gets the reward money. Thanks for life, yes. You let Abner get his hand on any cash you'll be buying out the stage line. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not a bad idea. Huh? Well, yippee! You hear that, Martha? Hear that? He said that's not a bad idea. We'll see you again, Abner. And we'll look for the watcher's stages. You watch for him, mister. You'll sure as thunder see him. Good. Let him be One silver, don't scout. One silver, The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.